वेलकम चिल्ड्रेन स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी हैव रीड ऑन दर्स सबताश दर्स मींस लेसन शाती अलबहर मींस कॉर्निश और द बीच इस समय लिसन व एंड तकल्लुम स्पीक लिसन एंड स्पीक समा का मींस समवन से शी गॉट एंड शी इन हैप्पीली शी सेड ओ फिश साक फिजु film i will jump in the water so one thing is this because simultaneously i am telling the grammar also little by little But otherwise separately there there are the videos for the basic grammar learning whenever we are using with the verb seen in the beginning it means it will be this will it comes will साकिफ जो आई विल जम्प फी इन अलमा द वाटर आई विल जम्प इन द वाटर ओके नाउ हेयर खुज अवामा या तारिक खुज मीन्स टेक अवामा मीन्स फ्लोट और दट फ्लोटिंग ट्यूब या तारिक या इज द निदा वर्ड यूज फॉर द निदा एंड तारिक is the name of a person this is the proper noun now here this mama calling aina badar aina means where where is the badar he say ana hona hona means here okay not hina there's most of that is in local language this expert people says hona hina instead of hona not hina this is the hona i am here so here it was talking about the awama about the float or about the floating tube here saying hat give the float o noora ha huh? hati al awama ya noora again the nida word came ya noora okay so hat means give or hazihi asdaf hazi we use two words before in this uh, 16th chapter i told you that haza we use for the masculine noun and hazihi we use for the uh, for the feminine noun means for the female things we use hazihi for male things we use haza so this is not alif after ha but give the sound of alif hazihi these or this okay these are asdaf because asdaf is the plural noun so that's why we are using these if it would be sadaf so this is a sadaf we we could say this is sadaf but uh, this is the shell but asdaf is the shells okay now here the first sentence स्टार्टिंग अल मौलिमा तू तजलिसु तहतल मुजल्ला तहतल मुजल्ला एंड अदर थिंग इज दैट देयर कुड बी द दिस सम मिस्टेक इन प्रोनाउंसिएशन अरेबिक बिकॉज एक्सपर्ट इज प्रोनाउंसिंग बिकॉज मे बी योर टीचर इज दिस फ्रॉम द अरेबिक रीजन एंड हर मदर टंग इज अरेबी माई मदर टंग इज नॉट अरेबी सो दैट्स वाई सम Uh, this when you listen from teacher uh, mouth then it could be a little bit different but basically i am only the translating the things so al mallimatu tajlisu tahtal muzilla muzilla means umbrella tahat means under tajlisu ta i told you this is the with the uh, verb we use when the female is for the female and mallima is the teacher okay the teacher is sitting under the umbrella number 2 this amal tasad samaka bis sanara so two things you see amal is the girl so again with the verb we are using the ta and the thing is seen as many times i told you that seen is the seen is the what tell tell yes 
seen is the sun letter okay harf shamsiya so that's why we are not pronouncing alif lam and same like this swad is the sun letter or harf shamsiya so swad all we are also this uh, lam also we are not uh, uh, pronouncing so amal hunting the fish with the angler with sanara means angler or the hook we use the sad means fishing or hunting samak fish okay here is the number 3 husamun yaqfizu fil mai husam jumping in the water yaqfiz means ya again with the this uh, verb we are using because of the boy we are using ya with the girl we use the ta okay so yaqfizu jumping in the water now fourth tariqun yasbahu fil bahar so again you see ya we are using tariq swimming in the sea bahar means sea fi in yasbahu he is swimming for who this tariq so tariq so is swimming in the sea nuratu tumsiku al awama okay nura is the name is the proper noun of a person name tumsik holding al awama the float or the floating tube nura holding the float or tube rimu tahfizu tahfizur ramala bil jarif okay bil jar bil jaruf so again ta using digging ramal sand ra is the sun letter bil jaruf means shovel okay reem digging the sand by the shovel now seven is aina badar where is the badar okay this is the page number 103 okay now we are reaching on the next chapter page others learn or read so here they are giving the pictures with the names only you should write the names in your books samaka fish sonara hook this is the hook or generally in this sonara they are saying full rod okay but sonara is the hook this is the ramal sand awama is the float this is the float or the floating tube and this is the qarib means boat or ship asdaf these are the shells shati beach or the cornish bahar sea now we have finished this and the next uh, part of this in the next video this is the only 17th chapter part 8